I've got the fire going. It's been lit for about an hour now. I've got a few people coming around later. I've made some modifications to the fire. I've got far more control over the airflow now. Um, I've got primary air coming in the front. I've extended the height of um, the feed box. It's now 12 inches deep. Uh, everything seems to be working very well. I've got a glass plate I've fitted over the top of the, the fire box there. Um, it's been running for about an hour now, I think, and the temperatures aren't that hot yet. It does take about two hours. But anyway, I've taken the glass top off. I've got the um, full air flowing into it. And uh, as you can see, it's working very well. Um, we're up to 400 and odd um, degrees centigrade. You can see my glass plate I fitted on the top. Now, with the plate in place and only feeding secondary air, which is a little gap um, alongside the barrel there, um, the temperatures are starting to go up now. It's been a light for a couple of hours, it's over 500. And this is quite an interesting um, phenomenon that's happening. I've taken the glass plate off and it's seriously hot, we're up to about 517 degrees. But unbelievably, the, 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 the fire doesn't seem to be coming out the hole. It's actually going down the sides and still flowing down the barrel and coming out um, the exhaust. It's, I wasn't really expecting that. Um, perhaps somebody's got some ideas of why that's happening. Anyhow, I mean, overall, it's been a very successful evening. We've managed to cook plenty of food around the fire. It's, uh, it's just roaring away, heating up the whole room. Uh, fantastic thing.